might look like your typical fashion show, but here's the catch. We're not here to see designers like Oscar de la Renta or Versace. The designers we're seeing today have names like MakerBot and Adobe. And the items you see on this runway, they were 3D printed. It could actually be a revolutionary turning point for a lot of the way that clothes are not only envisaged, but worn and made. The garments and accessories you're looking at weren't sewn, they were printed. I think the, the crossover between materials and technology is, is happening right now. 3D printing is a technology that lets you digitally scan a design and then print a physical object, layer by layer. The items are generally made of plastic. They can be so much more intricate and they have the potential to be so much more intricate material-wise and shape-wise um, when you're able to design it. This season, designers sent their models strutting down the runway in 3D printed gowns equipped with 3D printed undergarments. I have a corset, a train, and a skirt all together. But let's be honest, no outfit is complete without shoes. Well, I think the really exciting thing about this is kind of like it's a little bit like iTunes for your feet, but maybe five years before it's, it's there. So at some point, yes, you will be able to just put your, your foot size in, choose a pair of shoes or a garment or a hat that'll be exactly the right size just for you. The clothing came from computers. Some of the people lining the runway were wearing them as well. It's a growing trend. Recently, a Victoria's Secret model got 3D printed angel wings for the company's annual fashion show. The technology allows designers to try new ideas on their computers okay. before printing the actual physical clothing. At the moment, a haute couture outfit um, is very exclusive, but what if, with a body scan, you could have your own individually custom-made item of clothing? It's part of a trend designers call computational fashion. Computational fashion is already quite um, a developed field of practice, but we want to show that this is more than just a method of design. For designers experimenting with 3D printing, the technology is a canvas for creativity. And it allows you to do things that you couldn't do through standard fabrication processes. So things that are too intricate for the hand, uh, you know, down to tenths of a millimeter in size, things that are, have too many undercuts, which is a technical term for trying to make something through a mold. Lori Siegel, CNN Money, New York.